I was growing up uh, playing soccer, it was like it was in the part of the family. My father played for the national team and uh, my mother played for the national team in basketball. So I grew up in a sporting environment. So, But it was nice though, you know, when you're in Africa, it's like you're outside every day, like in the sun, enjoying playing with your friends directly after school. So it was a uh, fun because I just, I was eight when I left no when I left to Norway, so it's, it was a change of environment. You know, when you're like in Africa, you're used to being outside every day, and coming to Norway, what's one of the coldest countries in the world, and a lot of snow. And for a black man like me, it's a bizarre place to come at first. You know, seeing the snow falling down your hand. You know, calling back home to your mother, telling mother, I see a white things falling down the sky. What is this? So it's kind of fun though, but my path to Norway was uh, because my father used to play football also in Norway. So when he brought me, he already signed me into the club he was playing. So the transition like coming from Africa was more like on an academical level. You know, you have to get to know the language, but luckily I am good with languages. So for me it was, yeah, you know, like the barrier was Breaking the barrier was like playing soccer. So when people see you're good, then you everybody friends. So they invite you to play. So that was much easier and much nice. Signed my first professional contract when I was 17. So for me, it was a childhood dream that's come true. You know, when you get the possibility to sign a professional contract. My debut for the Norwegian national team was uh, unique and uh, very special in a way because. Over the past years, I was doubting whether to represent Norway or Gambia. But after grumbling it over a little bit, thinking of it a while, so I chose to represent Norway. But representing was really unique because in the history of Norway, there have never been a fully black player who ever represented the national team. So I was the first one. And right now, you see, we have a lot of people with, with different back, background who's representing the country. So I really feel very proud. And being the first fully black is something special. So I will always cherish that moment. Playing in uh, Scandinavia for several seasons and uh, living in there as well will shape you as a person as well, because we are very humble uh, people, people from Norway, and uh, we like to work hard because by the end of the day, by working hard is you reap your seeds by doing that. So it was, it was for me, it was like, you learn discipline, you, you learn determination. So playing there was really beneficial for me. Donovan with the ball, tackled away by Palm Odukan. Those two go for a tumble in the box. I've never had a soccer idol. I liked the players, but for me it was uh, Muhammad Ali, for what he stood for as a man and his personality. That was what really stuck with me. I was intrigued by that. Well, while playing in the Middle East was uh, was also a unique, because when people think about the Middle East, it's not the fun things that really come into other people's mind. But being in there, you learn and you see how different people are from what you get to see like uh, in media-wise and hearing what other people have to say about the country. but. I've never been in a place which is, have so much humbleness in itself, in its country. After I left Qatar, I went six months to Saudi. Football-wise as well, I enjoyed my football, but for my wife it was a little bit different because in Saudi she couldn't go out without me, she couldn't drive a car without me, while in Qatar she could do all that. You start to think for yourself, you know, I can be happy playing football, but also if the family is not happy, so then that's not good also for me playing football. So I had to make a choice after a while, but the choice was simple. I knew a friend of mine who was uh, who's living in Mexico and who's an agent and he has a lot of players. And by accident, coincident, I just sent him a text. I just said, hey, do, does a team need a defender like in the States or whatever? He said, oh, I will, uh, I will get back to you. Let me hear what I can do. And the talks came and uh, he told me, yeah, Portland, would, uh, Portland was interested. So I get to see one game with the San, the San Jose game. And I really liked what I saw. 
And after speaking to the coach, Caleb, when I saw the game, I saw his ideas of how he want to play football. And you can see that the team really was determined and really enjoying to play football. So from that moment, I just told my friend, listen, just get me to Portland. And he did, so I'm really happy. Coming to Portland, I must say, was a superb feeling because I've been in many places, and but the crowd here sold out every out game. That doesn't happen much. And that is something like I cherish every day, you know, and get the chance to play here and be in the city. Like, yeah, it's just a wonderful city, quiet city, not that big, you know, but very, very, very exciting to be here. And I do believe that for years to come, it will be the number one sport uh, place in the U.S.